accepted where I am with my physicality and I know that I'm not going to be or looking to be like a champion bodybuilder anymore. Like I've, I'm happily to, you know, to tie up those boots and, and retire from. What's up, desktop? This is Zayden Wilson from Desktop Bodybuilding and we are back with another daily bodybuilding news live with a bunch of new stories for you guys today. Callum Von Moga retires in his latest documentary, courtesy of Fuck It Up. Also, Samson doubted what he looks like right now while he's off the year. Plus, we've got updates from Stuart Sutherland just three and a half weeks out of the New York Pro and Hunter Labrada 15 weeks out of the Chicago Pro. So, let's get straight into this one. We start with an update from Hassan Mustafa who is, uh, I don't know how many weeks out now, I believe this is getting sometime in June. He's working with Chad Nichols, Team Mayhem, as you can see there in his description. What's up, you guys? Thanks for getting in the, uh, someone saying sound is poor. Hopefully not, hopefully the sound isn't too poor. Hopefully it's not bad. Let me know if it sounds bad still. Hopefully it's not too bad now. Let me see. Let me know if it's any better. I think I had it turned up a little bit too loud. Well, I have a settings. Now it should be better for you guys. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it's better. Let me know in the comments if my audio is better. I switched to my actual microphone because it was actually on the other one just a second ago. So fingers crossed that the audio is better. Let me know in the comments live if you are watching right now. Okay, better. Yep, awesome. Cool. So let's get back into this one. So Hassan Mustafa looking pretty damn good. He's competing sometime in June, uh, as I mentioned, working with Chad Nichols. Looking, yeah, I'm I'm pretty damn impressed with these current physique updates from Hassan Mustafa. And if he's competing in June, what are we now? April, May, June. So we're looking at about probably six weeks from now he'll be competing, just at a total guess. And uh, yeah, very, very impressed. We'll go through a few of the photos. The conditioning looks good this far out, and he's looking very, very big as well. So if he can nail the fullness with the conditioning, I mean, this is... This is wild. He packs a ton of muscle in that physique. It's a shame he doesn't have the wider clavicles because he would be you know, just about unstoppable. But overall, very, very impressed. He's in good condition now. He needs to be in uh, great condition to really show that up on stage. But so far, so good working with Chad Nichols. And sorry about the audio at the start of this video as well. I'm totally bummed about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you. Yes, like the video. And shout out to everyone getting in the comments and watching live and everyone who's watching on replay as well. Give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe. But I want to show you guys a few physique updates. And the first one here is from Hunter Labrada. Well, the second one really, because we just saw that one. And Hunter's looking really, really good. 15 weeks out of the Chicago Pro, the waist is looking really, really tight. That was something that he even acknowledged um, back after the Olympia. He wasn't happy with how his waist looked. And his waist looks tighter overall. He's working with Ben Chow, and they look like they're in a great position. You can see the striations there in the outer quad. Super, super impressive. When the waist is smaller, everything else looks bigger as well. So I'm very impressed with what Hunter Labrada is bringing to the stage. Is his midsection anything like a Samson Dowd or any of those guys? No. But as long as it's small and as long as it's tight, if you can just tighten that midsection up a bit uh, more from this, He's got the amount of mass that can really carry him far. So Hunter Labrada, very, very impressed. Now, Stuart Sutherland, only three and a half weeks out of the New York Pro. You can see the conditioning on this guy looking really, really good. That front double, let me just circle back to that a little bit because that is crazy. Front double biceps are generally not people's best poses. I love his hair here too. He's uh, 251 pounds, I believe it is, right now. And I think he's going to be dangerous going into that New York Pro. Let me know your thoughts on this guy Beef stew, as he's known on Instagram. You can see the striations there in the glute. Looks really, really hard. Striations in the chest as well, which I love to see. Nice round muscle bellies. Hits a back double. He could use a little bit more in the back, but overall, the conditioning is there, and I think he's going to do... He looks like a, a pumped-up 212 guy. He's that thick muscular-wise, and the conditioning's there. Look at the lines through the traps. Overall, very impressive, and I think he's definitely going to turn some heads. Uh, I believe someone said it's not his pro debut as well, can't remember who that was. Someone said he competed and got seventh last year in the show. I didn't see that one, or maybe I saw it and just sort of 
forgot a little bit because I sort of considered this one more like his pro debut because uh, I think that must have been not long after getting his pro card or what I'm not 100% sure I might be totally wrong on that so let me know if I am now Samson Doubter you guys might want to see what he looks like while off gear now this is a screenshot probably the most unflattering one that I saw actually um, when I screenshot this from his story I meant to go and actually record this and show you guys what he's looking like because he says halfway through our cleaning out period so you guys can only imagine what that is guys obviously go on stuff and they compete and then some come off some go down to like a replacement type dose and then others will you know completely come off and, and maybe use something like gh or something like that now samson might be doing that now where he's off and only using like something you know like a growth or something but regardless if he's using growth right now he's 313 pounds looking absolutely enormous now this video that you're about to see on the screen is from only about a week ago where he said he's 317 pounds so he's obviously you know in his clearing out period here as well he's over there in south korea looking absolutely enormous now i don't know how long samson comes off for he's obviously got the olympia this year i can't imagine it's going to be a huge amount of time but regardless i mean i think a lot of people would be very very happy with this look if they were on for their whole lives <laughs> so um samson Dowd are crazy impressive and last year when he actually guest posted for abiad's uh show that he puts on he was off for a considerable amount of time then and everyone was like no surely not but i mean it's sort of the proof is in the pudding now uh because of the gains he made before that mr olympia the crazy gains he made for the arnold classic is he going to make crazy gains again between the arnold and the olympia if he does do that he's definitely one of the favorites for the 2023 Mr. Olympia. But let me know your thoughts on Samson Dowder and his off physique, which is absolutely wild. Now getting to the big story of this video, that's a hilarious face that I just paused on. Um, the big story of this video is Callum Von Moga retiring from professional bodybuilding. And he says a little bit more in this video too. And uh, the link to the full documentary for Callum Von Moga is in the comments below. But let's go to this video now and hear what Callum Von Moga has to say. Completely different person. The Callum who came out here in the end of 2014, the young bodybuilder, uh, influencer, actor, he's he's not around anymore. He's you know that that book's been written and closed. So the person that I'm today, it's it's I'm still I'm still kind of discovering that now. I have accepted where I am with my physicality, and I know that I'm not going to be or looking to be like a champion bodybuilder anymore. Like I've, I'm happily to, you know, to tie up those boots and, and retire from competitive bodybuilding. Now there's a, there's a different path for me. Sorry guys, I had my audio <laughs> completely gone. I've messed up this video a little bit. But basically, Calum Von Moga retires from bodybuilding. And I want to say shout out as well. Because um, I said this before, I had to turn my audio off because I couldn't find my headphones. But uh, real N1 GG4 for the Super Chat, 799. Shout out my man. And uh, thank you so much for that. But Callum sort of goes on to say, you know, that he's retiring from bodybuilding and competing in bodybuilding, the influencer, the actor, and everything that he was previously. He, that's not him anymore, he's not that. And he does go on to say that he's actually, you know, he's still finding out what he wants to do, where he's gonna go, and all that in his journey. So it's really cool that he seems like he has a bit more perspective. He's hopefully finding that happiness. And obviously he went through a tragedy just recently of losing his brother, um, who he seemed close with when he's in Australia. There's obviously a lot going on while Callum was in Australia. He had a really, obviously a rough time, some things that seemed like grabbed him that, you know, he sort of lost control over. Uh, he ended up in a coma and he speaks about it in this video as well. So I hope that Callum is able to stay on a, a positive track and just, you know, spread his positivity and bring some positivity to the world. 
uh, because that would be a really good thing that could come from this. So where will Callum go from here? I'm not sure because Callum is a guy that, you know, he has his clothing business. He's obviously working with Buckled Up as well, who put out this documentary. And I think that's all good stuff. But I don't know. Let me know where you guys think Callum Von Moga could go from here. He says the actor and he said that guy's gone now. So does that mean that he's ruling out any sort of acting or whatever? But he's got probably unlimited business opportunities uh, and he can sort of choose whatever he wants from here. But he's, you know, he has to sort of release that identity of who he was. Um, he was a bodybuilder and that's sort of your identity for a while. And he knows with his injuries, he can't be a top, top level pro. Maybe he could win a pro show. Maybe he could push into a top three in a classic physique pro show. But you see how good these guys are in these contests. And if one quad is completely gone, you know, it's going to be very, very hard for him. So I think he realizes that. And he says he realized where he's at physically. So I think that's the right move for Callum to move out of competing in bodybuilding, but he still can be a massive influence in this industry. It seems like he's staying in this industry. He's also, you know, working with Buckled Up, which is a supplement company, I believe, as well. So regardless, I hope the best for Callum. And uh, whether he's retired, whether he's not retired, it doesn't really matter. I just honestly hope for the best for this guy. And I hope that he is able to sort his life out completely and stay on a positive track, you know, away from other influences that have been a negative for his life. So... Yeah, anyway, that's sort of a positive message. I want to get to your guys' comments now. Also, if you are in the comments as well, give the video a thumbs up, like the video, and uh, subscribe to Desktop Bodybuilding. Got these videos coming out every day. And I'm sorry about the few audio issues I had in this one as well, guys. Uh, sort of decided to do this one last minute. Uh, shout out Mandy Perez in the comments. And thank you guys for letting me know the audio but it was terrible at the very start. And apologies for that. Uh, here we go. What else have we got in here? So Chris D says, uh, Nick BS will go crazy about this if he still had his channel. Yeah, he'd be definitely reporting on this, no question. It's back. Yeah, thank you for letting me know about the audio. We've got Arlette Fit Over 40 says, God bless Callum. He's been through so much the past couple of years. I really feel for him and his family. All the best in his new venture. Yeah, his family's obviously going through a horrendous time you know to see what Callum's gone through losing their other son Eddie Von Moga um, it really would be a, an incredibly trying time for them and I hope Callum's able to he might be able to eventually you know really get things right whether it's he goes to business whether he goes to whatever I would love to see him um, get on the right track uh, what else we got in here um, yeah you guys just wishing all the best for Callum Uh, what else have we got? Steve G says, being in Hollywood Hollywood would seem he's going to try and get in movies. I think he said that the actor, um, the influence of a bodybuilder, you know, that guy's gone now. So I believe he's not actually going to get into acting, uh, I don't believe. Um, John Klein says, Callum is a great person. Start bodybuilding young. I did at 13. You get lost. You want to do other stuff, but bodybuilding pulls you. Absolutely. Then Target725 says, A shredded Hassan beats Nick Walker. Both are freaks. Hassan has far better quads. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't think so. I think his clavicles are too narrow, and I think from the back, Nick would wipe him. Uh, we've got John Bless. He has a documentary from 2019 on Netflix or Prime Video. Yep, this is a new one. I believe it's in the description below. And John Klein, <laughs> he sort of agrees with me. Hassan never beats Nick Lowell. Who knows? I'd love to see Hassan at his all-time best. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this Desktop Bodybuilding Daily Bodybuilding News Live. We've got plenty more content coming from Desktop Bodybuilding, so make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell button. And as I said before, sorry about the few audio issues in this one. Uh, I'll make sure they try not to happen once again. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's it for me. I'm Xavier Wills. This is Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are out.